Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's all right this morning on our prayer request today. Breaking Insanity Cycle needs prayer for one of her children that is sick. Uh, her cousin is pregnant and has COVID. Um, she had to go to the ER, and she had to go to the ER with, with a reaction to medication. Um, Vicki G. needs prayer for her daughter and all those who are having depression and anxiety issues. Debbie Jean's mother passed away on Sunday morning. Please pray for comfort for her and the rest of the family. Praise report on Zach. He's breathing 35% on his own. His shunt was replaced, and when he can breathe on his own, he'll be able to go home. Pray for Amber. She's going through a rough time right now. Barbara's son's leg amputation surgery went well. He's in good spirits and will be going home Saturday. She said thanks for the prayers. Lawson needs prayer for his wife that she gets her energy back. Kim is in the hospital and may possibly have an infection. Pray they can help her get better. She doesn't like the hospital she's in. Pray that she gets the care she deserves. And our scripture of the day comes from Exodus 2, 1 through 10. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When he saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. And she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds among the bank of the Nile, along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying, and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, saying, I drew him out of the water. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, God in the Details. It had been an awful week for Kevin and Kimberly. Kevin's seizures had suddenly worsened, and he'd been hospitalized. Amid the pandemic, their four young children, siblings adopted from foster care, were taking cabin fever to a new extreme. On top of that, Kimberly couldn't scrounge up a decent meal from the fridge. Oddly, at that moment, she craved carrots. An hour later, there was a knock at the door. There stood their friends Amanda and Andy with an entire meal she'd prepared for the family, including carrots. They say the devil is in the details? No. An amazing story in the history of the Jewish people shows God is in the details. Pharaoh had commanded... Every Hebrew, Hebrew boy that is born, you must throw him into the Nile. That genocidal development turned on a remarkable detail. Moses' mother did indeed throw her baby into the Nile, albeit with a strategy. And from the Nile, Pharaoh's own daughter would rescue the baby whom God used to rescue his people. She would even pay Moses' mother to nurse him. One day from this fledgling Jewish nation would become a promised baby boy. His story would abound with amazing details and divine ironies. Most importantly, Jesus would provide an exodus out of our slavery, slavery to sin. Even, especially in the dark times, God is in the details. As Kimberly will tell you, 
God brought me carrots. What stories can you tell where you've, where you've seen God in the details? How did that help strengthen your faith? Thank you, Father, that you show up in the little things as well as the big things. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a fantastic morning, and I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.